Good morning. Right. Right. For that right opening again. Big day today, baby. Gonna go see Bella fight, baby. It's fight day. Woo! Actually, <laughs> quite excited. It'll be quite fun. I reckon there'll be a couple of knockouts. I don't think there's going to be a knockout in a charity match. I think there will be because there's some there's some fucking people, you know. Babe, this is not nice weather. You literally like it's sunny all day. That is not giving sunny. Anyway, guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. It's just going to be another vlog. Not even a day in my life because this isn't a normal day in my life. This is like a fight day. Basically, what's happening today is we are watching Phil's friend do a charity boxing match. And they do three rounds of two minutes each um so it's a charity charity boxing event charity boxing event oh, he's coming this way bubba have you, have you left enough for it yeah loads of them. Oh, okay they call it a white collar white collar boxing charity white event. collar boxing match and ellie has nothing to wear so Stay that ready. is always fabulous that is always fabulous but um oh, currently honestly though babe we're getting back <sighs> and you are that's all you're doing as soon as we get back you're finding something to wear even if it takes you three hours you're that is the only thing I want you doing. I'm not having another breakdown. <laughs> God. Yeah, Way to people, rip me apart. Yeah, people watching Eddie. Don't call me out of that very well. <laughs> yeah, like, no breakdowns, no tears, no nothing today. Simple, dress on, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah. I'm not worried, babe. Yeah, well, if history proves anything, <laughs> maybe not. History may repeat itself. <sighs> That's what you get for faffing around. Do your legs still hurt? Shut up. No, do they or not? No, not anymore. Good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the plan of action today, it is 9.40 a.m. in the Henderson household on a Sunday. Can you just drive a bit like more or less bumpy? Yeah, I'm sorry that there's bumps in the road. You know, should have got my stabiliser with me. You should have bought a car maybe that isn't as sporty as this. Oh, now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite clear today actually, isn't it? Aww, hello boy! Can he make it across without losing his shoe? Fun fact, Phil actually lost his shoe just there, about this time last year. I remember the walking shoes, Phil unfortunately did not remember his walking shoes. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Did you get a bit wet, Cooper? Guys, he was literally sulking. The world's worst vlogger goes to me. It's the OOTD. I'm wearing a white blazer, but hair is curled. Just pop it on the shoulders. Oh yes. How cute. You can't actually see because we dress up okay, actually, babe. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Quite well, babe. We done it quite well. Yeah, we Seeing as we had nothing in our wardrobes, this is good. Support. another day last night was the boxing match but it's uh, currently the day after and i'm just about to go to a Pilates class which is really really exciting just currently out on the balcony with the dogs let them go for a little wee and then we're gonna go weather is not really weathering again today i don't know what's going on it's meant to be spring now so if, if something could happen with the weather to the weather gods because we could sort this out that would be fabulous really excited i haven't done a pilates class in so long but the last couple of weeks i've really been trying to go to a few more classes like yoga 
And now I'm like, okay, let's do Pilates. Like, I love Pilates, so why am I not doing it? Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna wear this headband there. This is just for this morning, but this is my Pilates outfit of the day. Just got some Nike socks on, Gymshark shorts, Gymshark, <laughs> Gymshark top, um, and then Phil's Gymshark hoodie. So Gymshark, we are representing right now. Represent, actually Phil, I think Phil's wearing Gymshark. Are oh, you only wearing the top? Adidas and Gymshark. Hello, little monkey. Is that your sister? And then there's Charlie Bear. But yeah, I think I'm, um, I was only going to do yesterday's vlog, but I think I'm just going to do a vlog over the next couple of days, just because, why not? Spend a couple of days in, the, in my life with me. This is a normal working week. I'm not off of work. I'm going to work full time. I'm actually in London on Wednesday, which I might take you along with me, but I don't know. Obviously, I, I can't film a lot of stuff. And like this Pilates class, I'm not filming, but... I'm letting you know I'm going to a Pilates class. Eee! So, I'm in a very happy mood this morning. I was just talking to Phil about it, actually. I don't know why I just woke up in a good mood. My sleep last night was horrendous. But we move. It's a Monday. It's a new day. And I think the reason we're both feeling a bit, like, excited is we're on, like, a... Today's the first day of our 10-week cut. Is ten it 10-week? Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, well, we've got 10 weeks till we're going away, haven't we? So, yeah, and it's we're not gonna like... Do, we're going to do a four-week cut now. Yeah. And then we're going to then do, see how we, where we are, and then kind of either do a maintain yeah. or a couple. Yeah. Because you can't really, like, 10 week cuts. That's a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do a solid four weeks and then see where we are, and then yeah. we either carry on or we then maintain. Yeah. Because what, right, what we've realised is actually we live an active lifestyle. We train pretty much four to five times a week. We go for walks every single day, obviously, because of the dogs. We are very active, but we do work from home. Um, do an office job, office job from home. But we're genuinely quite good with food until the evening and it all just blows out the window. So we're gonna hold each other accountable and we're just gonna go for it. What have we got to lose? Uh, Nothing. We're now, we're now calorie counting. Yeah, which that's, that's not I guess kind of like a bit of a trigger warning, but I don't like to count calories personally. But for me to. I need to because it will just keep me a bit more accountable. The, the same for you that, as well. The reason I like it is that when I see my number go down to zero or near zero, I'm like, okay, I cannot. You count. cannot do it. So it's like, yeah. if, I, if I haven't eaten as much for the day and I get to the end, I'm like, I've now got 100 calories. I've been up all, I can have what can I do? I can have a yeah. Surprise, but if I'm not, then I'm like, no. Whereas at the moment, we just... We don't care. Like, gosh, even right now, like, if I'm full up, if someone's like, oh, I have a bag of chocolate, I would do it. Whereas actually, I just need to be a bit more intuitive with my thoughts. And if I'm hungry, I eat. If I'm not hungry, don't eat past my limits. But I think we should make an exception, actually. Exception or exemption? An exception. An exception. Yeah. If we come to the evening or at any point, if we have hit our calories, but we are genuinely still hungry because we may have worked out more that day or done a higher intense class or we're just a bit hungry. Like for me as a woman, I obviously have my... <laughs> I have my menstrual cycle yeah. at times of the month. I do get hungrier. Yeah, for me, it's like very straightforward for you. Yeah. It's a little bit more up and down. Right? So, like, I'm going to be trying as hard as I can. And I will, probably will stick to it. But, like, if I'm, like, starving hungry, that I'm going to eat. Gonna you, that was going to make you stick to it. When I, if I stick to it, you're going to be like, damn, I, have to, I can't do that now. Yeah, I can't have my husband that can better than me. <laughs> well, like, if I, I can't have a chocolate bar, but you really want mine, and I, I can't have I'm allowed like, to, though. Oh, yeah, if it's no, in my allowed, calories. Yeah, you're allowed to, but you're like, oh, I shouldn't eat that again. Yeah, that's yeah, what it was like last like. time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, honestly, last time, to the point, I was like, God, I really, really want one, but Phil wouldn't eat one. And I was like, oh, well, now I feel guilty for eating that. But, women, let me tell you, Never feel guilty for eating more than your partner. Never feel bad for being hungry at different parts of the day. Like, I'm a break breakfast girl through and through. Phil never eats breakfast. And I used to be like, oh. And I tried to persuade Phil to eat breakfast. But it doesn't It doesn't work. You did have your protein shake. I now have a shake. I have like yeah. a little protein shake. So just never feel guilty for eating more, having bigger portion sizes. It comes and goes in waves, honeys. I don't know why we're suddenly talking like we're nutritionists. Oh. We're not. Do not take any advice. Oh. Do what feels good for you. This is not an advertisement. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Not this is not an advertisement. <laughs> we're still we're, we're working out ourselves. Let alone just giving yeah. advice. 
I do feel like a new found sense of like motivation. Like, even like last week, for me to go to those classes was quite a big step because I get very anxious and I've restarted with my PT. I say I get anxious. I don't suffer with anxiety, but I do feel anxious going into certain things. Oh my God, it's so nice, guys. Just stepped outside for the first time today. Same for the first time, acting like it's 3 p.m. It's, what time is it? What time is it, baby? Time now is hot, nearly half past. So it's 8.30 a.m. And I made a bit of a boo-boo, I'll tell you why. Ellie thought she was smart by doing a click and collect food shop. And we were gonna tie it in with when we went to the gym. Really smart idea. So right now we'd be at the gym, just finishing up, and then we'd make our way to Sainsbury's to go do our click and collect. Easiest thing ever. Um, I don't know why we didn't get a delivery. Because of, um, there was a reason. We usually get a delivery, but I think just today didn't work for PT. PT it was only tonight. We've got a PT this things. evening. Yeah. Anyway, last night I was like, Phil, we've got a PT tonight. Like, why are we going to the gym in the morning? So then we're now just having to go you do a, a click and collect, which actually isn't too close to us. It's like a 15 minute drive, but hey ho, you win some, you lose some. Oh, okay, it's raining all day. Literally, now it's lovely, but then it goes to like 90%. Okay. Bad, but like actually it says heavy rain. Is that here as well? <laughs> that's in Guildford, but yeah. That's, yeah it's gonna anyway, it's a really nice morning, but it's going to piss it down basically <laughs> for the rest of the day. Brilliant. <laughs> it came out thing. Okay, we've just got back from collecting our food and it was a more expensive food shop because we're hosting Easter Sunday, but I can't actually believe how much food we've got and I feel like it's a really good price. Right, so this is the whole food shop. It was, I think, right, hang on, let me show you the food shop and then you can kind of think about how much it will be. I think it's really good. So we've got some bread, Phil's bread, and then I got a white sourdough bloomer. <laughs> I got sourdough bread. Two packs of eggs, 20. Two packs of egg, oh my God. 10 mixed eggs, but I got 10 of it. <laughs> 10 mixed <laughs> eggs, but I got two of them. Um, are they all free? Do you know one thing I've never checked though, actually, babe, is if they're cage free. What, those eggs? Yeah. It should say free range. It does say free range. Yeah, that's Does that cool. mean? Yeah, so free range means that they're free to roam around. Right, okay. And they're actually decent sized and they're like their own kind of brand. Got some mini potatoes, some sweet rice cakes, which are my absolute favorite at the moment, especially um, it's like a little afternoon snack and some Maris Piper potatoes, some frozen sweet corn, mints, chicken pieces, frozen Yorkshire puddings, broccoli and some fruity hot cross buns because it is Easter Sunday this weekend. Um, I got all of these on really good deals and I've started to buy a couple more frozen um vegetables just for lunches because i go through so much veg at lunch and then um then we come onto the veg section now it does look a bit quite a lot but this is generically kind of like our food shop but we also are on our you know diet it's not a diet health eating but a lot of it is for sunday dinner so like these here are all for sunday dinner I really love red cabbage at the moment got some grapes some apples garlics noodles salsa some three pep three peppers um, this is for our stir fry, Wild Rocket, some cheese, which is Sainsbury's own brand, some rosemary for the potatoes on the weekend, some plum tomatoes, which are on offer, grapefruit, cucumber, onions. Have I missed anything else? Coriander? No. No, no, my we're all good. And then we have all of like our pantry, I guess kind of pantry items. Um, loads of rice because we eat so much rice. Phil eats a rice every day. I usually eat a rice every day um, for the weekend, and just for the meal. Some fiber one calorie bars. So after dinner, we love a little chocolate snack, but we'd usually eat a bar of chocolate each. So if we have one of these, that's much better. Some bananas, some milk, um, some popcorn. I thought this would be really good just to have some salty popcorn like in the evening again if we want a snack. Some mini eggs, Milky Bar mini eggs, but they are for putting on a cake on Easter Sunday. Kidney beans for lunch, some pitted green olives. And then again, this is all for Sunday. So I've got some lamb gravy, cranberry, why did I get cranberry sauce? Oh, Lily loves um, cranberry sauce, isn't she? And then some mint sauce. 
Um, and then we've also got a couple of meat, a bit of meat. So we've got roasting the chicken, roasting the chicken, roasting the bag, whole chicken. So this was on offer. It's a huge chicken. Oh, it goes out of date Sunday as well. It's perfect. So that's also for Sunday. Um, some chicken thighs, which is so much cheaper than chicken breasts. And you get a kilo. So that was 5 69 but it's so much better for you. Is it Eddie on Instagram that does that, babe? That? It's Eddie, isn't it? Who says about chicken thighs? Yeah, it's just chicken, um, but it's not have any fat. So yeah. Chicken thighs are the better ones to eat and they're cheaper. And then 20 ba bacon rashers and 12 ham slices. So take your guesses. It's not going to be cheap, cheap. Come on, guys, let's be real. But for all of this, it was £75, which... From Sainsbury's. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm quite picky with the stuff I order. For example, I'll always get the cheapest green beans. But... Go on, do it quickly. I'll always get, like... They do nectar prices. So if you buy stuff regularly, they always usually... Why is there a green bean on the floor? I was quite sure I would do that. Yeah. Um, if you shop there regularly and they pick up on the stuff you buy the most, so you get like a cheaper rate on it. It's called a nectar price and it refreshes weekly. So for example, these are usually £1.80, but I got them for £1.20. Um, what else was on it? Um, I think it was this, usually £2.95 or something like that. And I got it for £2.3p and that's the 500 gram. So just, I'm being very cautious what I buy. These eggs are £1.66 for 10, which is so good. Um, these again were on offer, so a lot of the stuff is on offer, which is good because we can means we can usually just buy stuff which is on offer. But um, yeah, but it means that we can get a lot more bang for your buck and from Sainsbury's. So no, it doesn't actually. But yeah, um, so in total, let me check actually. done so in total it cost 77 pound and 39p 50p of that was the click and collect fee which you know it's 50p hello you want the food 77 pound which is more than our weekly food shop but we have got a lot of extra stuff just because of hosting dinner this weekend um we usually spend around about 50 to 60 between us but I think that is so good for the amount of food we've got, especially when this chicken here was like £6.50. You've then got all of the mint sauce, cranberry sauce, lamb, gravy, loads of vegetables. But I think that's really good. Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings are so expensive now, but again, I got those on a deal for £2. Um, so, yeah. I'm happy with that, actually. So Phil didn't want to wait for me to finish my vlogging, so he just decided to start making it on the um, kitchen table. <laughs> Not even the kitchen table. Oh, no, it's dining table. Right, let's pop. I've just put my um, stabiliser on. I keep forgetting that I have this, and it's so good. But let's do a time-lapse and put all the food shopping away. PT time, baby. I'm gonna train up a body, and I'm not getting bullied into legs this week. I got fully bullied Stand last week's three legs, and I couldn't walk for five days. Stand my ground. I would vlog it, but I would get ripped to shit if I vlogged in here right now. <laughs> it's a proper like bodybuilding gym. It's really good. Like I'd recommend anyone to come here. It's called Studio. Is that say Studio One? No, no, it doesn't. It's called Studio One in order shot. Unreal. Amazing. Get PT by Mark. Mark, if you're watching, he's not going to be watching today. Tell him to Is really, really exciting. 
There's a few that London and that's better. Bad, isn't it, guys? I'm. I don't even know if this vlog is going to go out at this point. If you're watching, obviously it has. But I feel like this vlog is actually me just telling you where I'm going, but not showing you what I'm doing. <laughs> like that. Oh my god. So like last night, obviously I had my PT, and I did. Oh no, I did put footage in. Did you? You put footage of when we were in the actual place, not on your. Station. No, because Mark put footage on my on his Instagram story of me, and then I asked Mark to send me the for, the videos through um and then obviously i went into london today for work but you know i try and keep work out of i i love my job right what am i trying to say i don't want to like mix work and like tell you guys about my work because that's personal stuff um it was really exciting um and then now i'm just on my way to a pilates class which i'm not going to record because obviously that's a bit better i'm too much of a whim to record it so I'm sorry, but I'm not whipping my camera out in front of like 15, 20 people to record a Blase's class. Not happening, but... You should ever just set up a ready and just put it like literally like next to you. No one even knows what Yeah, it's going to be noticeable though. And I don't want to be that annoying person like on their phone. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Really excited. We've got into the last two nights. We're like working out late just because it's the only time we can fit it in during the day which is really good that we're still actually fitting in exercise but it just means that the class is at five past seven we won't get home to about ten past eight which means eating dinner at about eight thirty which is quite late but it means we're not snacking that much in the evening so win win let's go have fun 